All right, in our last video, we have explored how to handle post request in routing. And today we're going to be discussing about route parameters. Route parameters are basically routes that accept parameters. So suppose you have a web page that display a list of person with various IDs. And in most situations, probably your client just want to retrieve an information of a person with specific ID probably ID number one or two or three and so on. Currently, our server doesn't have the capability to handle this type of request. In order to allow this type of request, we need to configure a route that accepts parameters. Hence, it is called route parameters. Adding a route with parameters is pretty simple and straightforward. You just need to add the parameters at the end of the URL point. So let's say you have a route that goes like slash person. Then after the forward slash, you just need to add the parameters preceded by a colon. So suppose the parameter's name is ID. You just need to write colon ID. And the parameters can be accessed inside an object inside a request dot params object let me show you how you do it on the code let's bring up the text editor we're gonna add the route here by saying add dot get and as usual the first parameter is actually the url endpoint names forward slash okay then this is the parameter colon id you can name it whatever you want and our callback function all right we're going to try to console log uh, the parameter i'm going to try to console log it console log so the value of the colon id parameters is actually stored in request params object and the name of the parameters which is ID and let's save it okay now let's bring up the web browser and let's try person and then let's say ID of one two three enter now you're gonna see that on the console log here on the terminal uh, the ID of the person that we typed earlier was 123 and it is shown here as 123 let's say you want to replace it with John okay it is shown here as John or Robert Robert and try it again probably Mary enter all right now the params actually sent to our server and in st and store in the request params object all right so now we actually want to send something meaningful to the client we want to return something let's say we want to return a response to the client in json format Man sage hello world and my params okay so keep in mind that the params value is stored in the request params object and the params name which is id you can actually uh, name it whatever you like okay let's try save it and let's bring up the web browser again and this time you're gonna see okay let's say John you're gonna see that the server actually sent the response to us JSON data the parameter is John um, Robert okay you see my params Robert and probably Michael all right Michael okay so this is how you actually set up a route that accepts parameters 
the name of it doesn't necessarily have to be ID you can also say you can pass you can pass anything so it's just a variable name I'm gonna change it to you can pass anything save it and it will still work okay let's try person name is Bill okay you still receive the parameters and probably the person name is gonna be um, Juliet Juliet okay it still works and also you can also pass as many parameters as you like let's try we're gonna say this is our first parameter and the second parameter and third parameter okay we just want to console log the value we're gonna delete this and all of these parameters are stored in request params object okay uh, save it okay let's try open up the web browser again Julian Robert and John okay three parameters enter you can see on terminal that the server just console log the parameters all of the parameters first second and third all right this is all about the route parameters uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video